this episode sucks. Don't watch it. Okay? Uh, there's plenty of great ideas out there, but uh, the one you have is not working. I heard a lot of people talking about bleaching their assholes. So I was wondering, do you just drill a little over his head or pour the whole fucking bottle? Mm. Let me know. Make a comment. Whole bottle, I'd say. Just go for it. Whoa! Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 186. Huh? 186. It's been a little bit since I've uploaded an episode. Why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've done enough of these. No, I haven't. Yeah, I'm never giving up. Never. You know that. You know that. I've said that to myself and it's not happening. Okay, I've given up twice on this podcast, and I've always came back. But this time, it's just, we're going forever. We're like, we're literally just going to go forever. If this entire house burns down, the entire set, everything inside, if it all goes to shit, then whatever. I'll record in a swamp in Louisiana. It doesn't matter. We just got to keep this train fucking rolling. And if it's your first time here, then hit subscribe, Okay. And I want you to go into the comment section right now and tell me why you didn't get your grandmother a birthday cake last year. Because she keeps texting me. She's texting me. All right? She's messaging me on Facebook and she's like, why didn't Jeremiah get me a birthday cake last year? And I don't know what the fuck to tell her. Okay? So you, Jeremiah, need to hit subscribe and go to the comment section and tell your grandmother why you didn't get her a cake. Okay? And while you're there, you might as well hit the like button. I mean, come on, guy. Come on. Let me take a hit of my jewel pen. Ooh, ooh hey, that's spicy. Mm-mm. Let me go for let me go again. Ooh, that's even spicier. I like it. Give me some <clears throat> Give me some more, please. I don't like this mic stand. It doesn't work for podcasting. But you know what does work for podcasting is Janice. She's keeping up with the White Claw trend. Janice, thank you so much for being here and uh, giving me something to drink. I really preach. I preach. Okay? You're a stupid... You know what? I'm not, I was going to call her something. I was going to call her a name, but I'm, I, I'm not going to do that this time, Janice. I changed my ways. All right, as long as you keep feeding White Claws down my gullet, I'm going to keep being nice to you. Okay, starting from this day forward, I'm going to be nice to Janice. To all my lovely, non-existing viewers out there. Hi! I love talking to a camera and not having anyone listen to me. I love it. It's great. It's fantastic. I don't have the White Sneakers Award mug because it's, it's filthy. And Janice doesn't wash... She doesn't wash anything. She doesn't wash herself, and she doesn't wash dishes or her clothes. She's literally just like a rotting mess in my house, stinking up the whole place. Yesterday, I came home, and I stepped in some shit that was on my front, in my front porch. Okay, there was, a, there was a piece of shit on the carpet, and I stepped in it. And it was, I, thought it was a, I thought it was Oliver's shit, okay? But it was Janice's. Janice took a poop on the floor. She's really losing it. I'm going to... Oh, man. That woke me up. (laughs) Isn't this funny? Let's try it. Ah! See, I knew it was going to make a mess. All over my fingers. Okay, let's chug this whole thing right now. Ready? Let's do a Badlands chug s- style. Ready? <gasps> it's all I can do. I love White Claws. I like them a lot. I really like them. They're gluten-free, okay? I don't need gluten. And how many calories do we got in this bad boy? 
per one can. Calories, 100. Only 100. And there's zero of anything else. Except for sodium. There's 5 milligrams of sodium. Oh, there's 1 gram of sugar. That's it. There's only 1 gram of sugar. I could drink these until... I don't know until till 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 grandma comes home. Oh, it's cold on the esophagus. Ah, oh, so cold. So let me tell you what I've got planned for this episode. Absolutely nothing. Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you find out anyway because we'll talk about it. Right? Okay. Let's open things up with a TikTok, shall we? Here's a good one. We're just gonna go. Just fucking give her. Don't stop. And what's up, Doc? Heard, what's up? heard you're going to a concentration camp, mm-hmm. and uh, you're a little worried about it. Mm-hmm. 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 But uh, I don't know. Give me some advice. How about you, been. but I think you should really. Think of the positives of why you're going. Right. Instead of the negatives. Uh huh. So, okay. what's some positives? Whatever there? what reason you, the reason, for whatever what reason you're going there for, mm. is I don't know the reason. They hope just... you stay focused, stay relaxed. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. And I'm gonna try. If it turns out to be fun, mm-hmm. I'm sure it won't be. Have a good time. I'll try though. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the advice. <clears throat> so this guy, uh, I just discovered him on the talk. You know, I discover a lot of people on the talk. The talk is a great place. If you haven't been, you got to go. I'm telling you right now, whatever your thoughts are about TikTok, throw them in the fucking garbage. Open up the app, make an account, and start fucking scrolling. Okay, you're going to be hooked in a matter of minutes. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to get you hooked, and you're going to see all kinds of shit like this. I don't know what this guy's all about. I think he just does Bugs Bunny impressions. And someone left a comment and said, My friend Dominic is getting sent to a concentration camp. Can you please make him feel better? Okay? Uh, Now, I don't want to make any assumptions, but I'm assuming this fella is on some sort of spectrum. Okay? I don't want to say which spectrum, but he's on one of them. Okay? Okay? Uh, and I think he doesn't know what a concentration camp is exactly. Maybe he does, because he said instead of looking at the negatives, look at the... Could you imagine, okay, it's World War II, (laughs) and you just got a letter in the mail saying, hey, listen, Mr. Jewish person, you're getting sent to a concentration camp, and you tell your, your friend, and he's like, ah, let's look at the fucking positives, okay? Let's look at the positives. It might not be all that bad. All right? I don't know why you're going. And you don't know why you're going either, but let's look at the positives. Okay? It's a great way to, you know, it's a good outlook on life, but you just... What exactly are the positives of a concentration camp? I don't know. Is there? I don't think there's one positive thing about a concentration camp. I've never been, so I can't say for sure, but... If I think of, let's think about it for a second. What goes on there? Well, there's showers, you sh- communal showers, okay. Mm, but they're not. Uh, it's basically. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's not. I don't want to make a joke about concentration camps. Sometimes I look through these vid- these vines that I find, uh, these TikToks. They're not vines. These vine. These TikToks that I find. And I say to myself, why did I save this? Why did I want to talk about this on the podcast? I don't know. I don't know, dude. I really don't know. I need a co-host. I really do. I've done 186 of these. And it's getting to a point where I'm just like, well, what the fuck else am I going to say by myself? It's going to get to a point where I'm just going to continue talking and talking and talking over and over on these podcasts to the point where I'm actually going to become an insane person. I'm going to end up in a mental institution. Now that, that is a good idea for a podcast, okay? An insane person in a mental institution doing a podcast? Oh, 
That hasn't been done yet. Fuck. Now that's a fucking idea. I gotta keep this train rolling to the point where I end up in a mental institution. And somehow I have to convince them to get me a camera and an internet connection. That's all I would need. And I could make that happen. Because the podcast, podcast butt outside, or whatever it's called, those guys, fucking killing it. That is such a good idea. That is a really good idea. I really like that. I'm also thinking about cutting my episodes down to 30 minutes. I don't really need an hour yet. If I have a guest on, we'll go tell however long it goes. But for just me, I'm thinking just... uh, you know, 30 minutes is good enough. That's all we need, right? That's all we need. What does this guy have to say? I'm not even sure what half of these TikToks are. I found them a while ago. Studied the way gay and straight people oh, yeah. talk. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Would you like to have a drink? <laughs> Sounds straight to me. <laughs> and it's straight. Me Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh, do you want to go have a drink? <laughs> gay. Yeah, it's fucking gay if I ever did hear it. Let's listen to this again. Studied the way gay and straight people talk. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Would you like to have a drink? Sounds straight to me. And oh, it's yeah. straight. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh, do you want to go have a drink? Gay. Yeah, one hundred percent. When was this made? What is this? They're just listening to people's voices and being like, "Is this person gay or is this person straight?" There's times where I'll meet people and I'll hear their voice and I'll think the same thing. I'll be like, "Oh, gay, one hundred percent." But sometimes people just have that, like, gay connotation to their voice. But they're not actually gay. I had a situation once where I was at, like, a party. And this guy had, like, a gay voice. (laughs) You know the voice, okay? The gay guy voice. We all know what it is. Okay? Don't, 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 don't be like, oh, that's so discreet. No, okay? You know the fucking voice. People have it. Gay or not, you know the voice. You hear the voice and you're like, that guy might be... So I was at a party. This guy had the gay voice, but he wasn't gay. Or maybe he was, but he had a wife and kids. And he didn't claim to be gay. He was straight as an arrow. Works in the oil field. All right? Doesn't get any more straighter than that, but he had the voice. And so this girl came up to him and she was like, your voice sounds like you're... You sound like a gay guy. And they got into this, like, bickering back and forth about whether or not, you know, his voice sounded gay. And she was like, I'm not saying you're gay, but your voice sounds gay. And he was like, what does that even mean? And I feel for him. You know, from his perspective, he's just like, what do you mean my voice sounds gay? Because it's just his voice. That's how he interprets himself. And everyone else was on his side, and I was on his side. But in my head, I was thinking, I kind of agree with what this girl is saying. Because he does sound a little gay. But I wasn't going to just say that. But I should have. Because this girl was really annoying. She always just said stupid shit like that all the time. She she generally just says, you know how girls, some, some girls will just like say stupid shit. And you're like, what does that even mean? Like, what are you even saying? Or they'll just they'll just say things that are like I don't know. They just It's not and it's not just for girls, like even some guys, they're just like so I don't want to say dumb, but they're so uninformed about the world that they're just you hear them talk and you're like you think to yourself, How have you made it this far without knowing this information? And sometimes I think think that way when I listen to Trisha Paytas. Like when she was talking about how she didn't know about, uh, what the hell was it? Something, something. She didn't know about global warming or something. No, it was, it was more than that. Like she doesn't, she, there's things she just doesn't understand about and she thinks it's boring or whatever, but, and I get that. But there's certain things in the world where you should at least have some, capacity of knowing that it exists right i'm going off the tangent here but this 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 guy who had the gay sounding voice it just turned into an argument and it lasted for about an hour and i was it was like the only time where i was actually on her side 
because I too thought his voice sounded gay. I thought that the first time I met him, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to be on her side because no one else was on her side. They were all on his side. You know, we were all like, what do you mean his voice sounds gay? Blah, blah, blah. And I, and I, and I thought to myself, is everyone else thinking the same thoughts that I'm thinking? We all know that his voice sounds gay, but we're not going to agree with her because we don't want to offend this guy because he's a nice guy. And she was acting like the bad person. But we were all thinking the same thing. Right? It's hard to... We're all a bunch of sheep. But she stood out. She was the black sheep. She stood apart from the rest. And I commend her for that. And we all should have did it. Unless we were the only two that actually thought the guy's voice sounded gay, and, and but I doubt it, because it does. We all know the fucking, we all know the goddamn, the gay voice when we hear it. And I heard it. What do we have here? <laughs> That was it? What the hell is this? So it's a pigeon. For those listening, it's a pigeon staring into the vortex. Okay? Oh, that vortex. I got something to say about this. So you know like the black and white swirly vortex looking thing? It spins. And it's really trippy when you look at it. There's an iPad on the ground. There's a bunch of pigeons like feeding on the ground. But this one pigeon is just staring into this iPad watching the vortex spin <laughs> like he's tripping balls or something now that vortex i have an episode of this podcast like episode four or something very early on called the asshole swirl all right one one of my earliest memories when i was i don't know two three four i don't know i was very young i wasn't in school yet so i was i was younger than five years old but Older than probably at least two, I'd say. Three. I mean, one. Older than one, at least. So it was somewhere between two and four. And I remember we were. I was outside. It was a summer day. I could hear planes flying by. I was in a stroller. And my mother was talking to someone. I don't know, a friend. I just remember she was talking to someone. And she kept saying the word asshole. She she was talking to someone about someone else calling them an asshole or something. I just kept hearing asshole, asshole, asshole. And I had no idea what that word meant. I knew what a hole was, I think. But I didn't know what ass meant, and I didn't know what asshole meant. But for some reason in my mind, all I kept thinking was, what is an asshole? And then this image popped into my head of the swirl. The, the vortex swirl. The black and white. This exact black and white image. And that's what I thought an asshole was. I was like, that must be an asshole. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. So I'm like, why is she calling this guy an asshole? What is an asshole? I don't know. It's not really an interesting story. But that's that's my earliest memory. The asshole swirl. And that's what I call it. And still to this day, when people say asshole, that's what I picture. When I go to the, what is the asshole doctor called? The proctologist? Is that the word? I don't know. But when he says, bend over and show me your asshole, I imagine myself bending over, pulling my pants down, and this is just swirling around in my trousers. Okay? And then he reaches into the void and goes, hmm, I don't feel anything. You're good. I've never had a finger in my butt. Other than my own finger, and not because I was pleasuring myself, but because I had to put a suppository up there. Multiple times I've had to do that, because I've, uh, I've had clogging issues. And the nurse says, hey, do you want me to put it up there? And I'm like, eh. I know you've seen plenty of assholes before, and you're probably used to it, but I don't know. I don't want, like, it. I'm sure it's fine. It's just not, it's just my own my own way of processing things. I'm like, I don't want this nice 
s- this nice nurse to shove her finger in my butt and see all the, you know, because it's like a jungle down there. My asshole's like a jungle. Pears and dingleberries. You know, there's not always dingleberries in there, but they, they, they show up occasionally. All right, when your asshole is as hairy as mine is, and I don't, and you don't have a bidet, which I really do want one, but I just don't have one, because I, I can't afford a bidet, okay? So when you're just wiping with uh, toilet paper, you're basically just kind of smearing it around. You know, you do the best you can, but occasionally a dingleberry will show up. And then you got to cut it out, and it's like, ah, oh, it's a mess. It's a nightmare. Uh, but don't ever shave your asshole because it's it, it's a nightmare. The hairs grow back in, a little stubbly, your ass cheeks rub together, you get a rash. Okay, that's not fun. And the hairs also prevent all the sweating from happening. So when you don't have the hair in your butt, uh, when you originally had hair, your asshole sweats and chafes and you get all kinds of rashes and sweat and it's like a and then it's like a really swampy disgusting mess worse than if you just have a few dingleberries every once in a while okay now I, then i start to think well what about people who just don't have a hairy asshole well they probably don't sweat as much you know whatever genes i have decided that i need to have this hair i've got so much hair I'm hair hair everywhere, legs, arms, chest, belly, ass, head, face. Surprisingly, though, my back is not hairy. It's just full of pimples. <laughs> so I'm quite I'm quite the catch. I'm I'm a, I'm the full package. Okay, if you're looking for a disgusting human being, this is this is your guy right here. Okay. Hmm. I just farted, and what are you going to do about it? What do we got here? Life is like a box of Bernie. Fuck no, dude. I hate mushrooms. Hello. What's up? But yeah, anyways, it's over between me and Trish. Uh, I walked in on her and Trevor, and they were doing butt stuff, so. My name's per- Forrest. Forrest Gump. Cool, dude. Um, but yeah, work's good. I just got promoted to assistant general manager at Abercrombie & Fitch, so things are looking... Let- no, I don't want any chocolate. Leave me the fuck alone. Some fucking guy here at the bus stop. Oh my god, some old fucking guy just farted. My mom always stinks, said, dude. It. Life oh, was like a box of chocolate. Are you still talking? Oh, where is my fucking bus, dude? Oh my god. Those must be comfortable shoes. Oh, this guy won't fucking shut up, dude. He's t- he told me my like, shoes look comfortable. I wish I had shoes like that. Dude, do you want the fucking shoes? If you shut up, I'll give you the fucking shoes. Will you shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> Are you fucking serious right now? Oh my, the old guy just fucking farted again. Shout out to Semi Stupid on TikTok, all right? This is, I, I like to showcase, you know, really good quality, uh, well-produced TikToks every once in a while. And I know the Bernie meme's dead. It's long fucking dead now. But I thought this was a good little fucking... A good little TikTok, all right? Guys making fun of Forrest Gump. Well well made. I like it a lot. I would like to do stuff like that on TikTok, but I just, I don't know. I could. I could easily. Well, not easily. Because he actually used a real green screen and did it properly. Which, I do have this green cloth. Which I originally bought this green cloth that I'm using on my table here for a green screen. But when you unfold the whole thing... It's basically see-through, okay? It looks like a nice, perfect green color that could be used as a green screen. But when you unfold the shit, it's basically fucking see-through, so it doesn't even really work. Because when the light shines on it, you can see whatever the fuck's behind it. So, because this was originally going to be used as my backdrop, and I was just going to green screen in a backdrop. But then I found this bad boy, and I'm like, ah, this is much better. I like, because I love mushrooms. I love eat, I love mushrooms, okay? I don't just, I'm not, I'm not just talking about magic mushrooms, although those are fucking fantastic, okay? If you haven't done, you should. Just give it a shot. But, but just mushrooms in general are fucking fascinating. I've talked about it lots before. Um, what the hell's his name? Peter something. 
Ah, uh, why can't I remember his name? Anyway, he's like a mushroom fucking expert. The guy dedicated his whole life to studying mushrooms. He has a hat that is made out of a mushroom. And it's cool. Uh, he was on Joe Rogan. That's how I discovered him. He was on Joe Rogan. I discovered him. I'm like, this guy's fucking fascinating. I wish I knew his name. Let's look it up right now. Let's use the fucking Google machine. And, uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Peter Mushroom. Peter Mushroom. That's his name. What the fuck's his name? Uh, St- pa- Paul Stamets. That's the guy's name. Here he is. Paul Stamets. There he is. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, here he is holding a big fat fucking piece of fungi. And that's not the mushroom hat I'm talking about. Let's find the mushroom hat. I'm going to type in Paul Stamets. Come on, go back to the Paul. I always think his name's Peter, but it's Paul. Paul Stamets. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's see if we can find. Here's his mushroom hat right here. Boom! You see this shit? Oops! Didn't mean to do that. Let's do the old zoom in. Ooh, baby! Look at that mushroom hat. Wow! This guy's this guy's beautiful. He's got glasses and everything. For reals, though. Just listen to this guy on a podcast. He might even have his own podcast. It's been a while since I've uh, looked at his stuff. But it's interesting. It's very fucking interesting. Because mushrooms, they can communicate to each other all over the world through like this neural network through through the through the through the ground they communicate to each other in some weird language and if you hook up these fucking anodes to them you can actually hear the noises that they're producing and it sounds it sounds insane i thought i had a fucking i actually had a tiktok saved with the sounds that the mushrooms make but i didn't fucking save it at all but here's an example of what it can be like on mushrooms to this is an exaggerated extent but It's not, you obviously won't see characters that vividly, but you'll stare at like a tree and it'll, and it'll morph into like, like see how it's like a tree and it's like morphing into these weird eyes and colors and shapes. And then it, then the stump shows up like that's kind of what it's like to be tripping balls on the shrooms or other psychedelics, you know? It's so fun. It's so much fun. And like these thoughts come into your brain and it's you unlock all these weird thoughts that you just never even thought you could even think about. This isn't nothing new. I mean, it's it's common knowledge. Do you remember what's your favorite thing about your childhood? Think back to your childhood like what you know We've all done this before. There's all kinds of stuff that like like the other day I was on TikTok and this guy I found this guy, he has these cubes. You might remember from when you were a child these cubes. They were toys, but they had a little electronic screen on there with like a stick figure and uh you, you you like the stick figure can walk from one cube to the other cube and like you can rotate the cube and the stick figure will fall and I don't know it's just one of those memories where you forget about you completely forget about those things until someone brings it up and you're like holy fuck I totally forgot about that and wow you know what I just noticed this TikTok I'm about to show you it's about Sabumafu you remember Sabumafu the fucking lemur the TV show and I noticed the fucking TikTok channel is the Krat Brothers. The Krat Brothers were the two brothers on Sabumafu. 
And this is Sabumafu's daughter and grandson because Sabumafu died. So these these are Sabumafu's fucking offspring. TikTok meets Obumafu's daughter Gisele and grandson Didius. Nom nom nom, those are some tasty leaves. Man, yeah. I miss being a child. I really do. Because it, it, this unlocks memories, obviously. Okay? Like, I used to, I remember, like, just like being at home. I never had siblings. I never really had really any friends until I got to school. And even like I even remember like uh kindergarten I had zero friends and I didn't want to make friends. Because I was alone like up until that point and all I wanted to do was just go home and like play with Legos or color or watch Sabumafu. Sabumafu was like the all-time show. I loved it. I loved it like, you know, made me fascinated about the idea of animals and whatnot. And I'm still, I still kind of feel that way. Like, I like being alone. I like living alone. I like living with people, too. I've lived with people, and I like it. But I also like being alone as well. But the older I get, I'm like, yeah, it's not as fun to be alone all the time. You know, let's bring people into the world. Let's bring people into the space. That's why I said I need a fucking co-host so we can fucking banter off one another. Because it's going to get to a point where I'm just going to have like a, a, a blow-up doll next to me and I'm going to be like, hey, what's up? What's up, blow-up doll? And, uh, you know, basic, this is basically what it is. I'm just talking to myself the entire time. I know we're past the 30 minute mark here. I think anyway. Um but we got a few more TikToks to zip through. I don't know what this podcast is. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I <laughs> You think I would well, you think I would have figured it out by now, but I haven't, okay? Every every episode I'm like I plan it out and I'm like this is the direction I want to take it and I do that for a while and then I get sick of it and then I'm like, ah, ah, I don't know. It's just stuff every time. It's all kinds of stuff. And you know what? If that's what it is, then that's what it is. It's just random. Okay? We don't need consistent... Well, we need consistently uh, to consistently upload. But we don't need to have a particular format as to how to do this. Just do it. Just fucking do it. All right? I'm gonna spit up top and spoon shit. I'm gonna fuck a bit. Oh, he forgot. <laughs> this guy's really going. Come on. Yeah. Uh. I'm about to wobble, wobble, bitch. I wobble, wobble. Make your bitch go through the bobble, bobble. She go swallow bottles. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to. Man, he's actually really good. I can't tell if he's just drunk or a little talked. Maybe a bit of both. But either way, he was doing it pretty good. All right? I'm not saying I'm a fan of 6 uh, 9 by any means. All right? I've seen a few interviews by him and I'm like, he seems like an okay guy. I don't I don't know how I feel about his, his particular style of rapping. But what I can say is this guy does a good job at impersonating him. I'm mood as shit. I'm a spread up top and spoon as shit. I'm gonna fuck a bit. Oh. Uh. Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Come on. Get him. Yeah. Uh. Uh. One, two, three. I'm about to wobble, wobble, bitch. I wobble, wobble. Make your bitch go through the bobble, bobble. She gon' swallow bottles. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to. Oh. He looks really zooted. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, bruh. And I think there's a little bit of a delay between the screen capture audio and then this audio. So when I did the countdown there, it might have been a little bit out of sync. All right. That happens. It's just ball part of the game, baby. Hey, what do 
you say about this? I got too many TikToks. We still have five more to do. This is what the podcast is turning into. Just a compilation of TikTok after TikTok. And me just spitting shit, okay? I'm just I'm just trying to show my appreciation for TikTok. And I want I want people to see what I'm seeing on my for you page. And maybe you'll see this and be like, oh, maybe I am missing out on TikTok. Come the hell down to Rotten Mike's house and wet. We got the wettest food around. Guaranteed! Slap! Go! Whatever! Everything is drenched to shit! None of that dry crap! The hell is this? Get it! Out of here! Now that is the wet goop I'm talking about. Whoa, mama, that's moist! Drowning in the wet. If your food don't soak through your clothes, you get to come back in the kitchen and punch my fucking lights out. That's the Rotten Mike guarantee. Rotten Mike's house of wet. You can, you can come here. I want to go to Rotten Mike's house of wet. This has Justin Roiland fucking vibes all throughout it. Come on down to Rat Mike's house of wet. I'd go. I'd go check it out. All right, that was a good promo. Sounds disgusting, but uh, I'd still go. I'd still go. All right, if you saw if you saw that local commercial on your TV, would you be intrigued at least a little bit? I'd fucking go to Rotten Mike's right now. All right, I never eat out. I don't like wasting money on food unless it's like. You know, an occasion. People like to eat out all the time. I'm like, ah, it's just a waste of money. I'll just buy groceries and then I'll eat whatever food's here. It's just food. Rotten Mike's, though? Fuck yeah. I'd head down to Rotten Mike's right now and get Rotten Mike's house of wet. I want that all that slop right in my mouth. What's this guy got to say? I'm not waiting forever for Grand Theft Auto 6. You get Me to. Neither. I could give you till 2023. If we don't have a Grand Theft Auto 6 a long time. at 2023, I'm not going to play Grand Theft Auto 6 that's coming out, period. <laughs> He's, you know what? We've waited a long time for Grand Theft Auto 6, and you can tell by his eye there. It's wandering away on him. He's <laughs> he's a little impatient. But uh, 2023, I mean, that's, that's still a ways away, dude. We've been waiting long enough. Well over 10 years, I, th- I think, right? We don't need to wait anymore. Let's get Grand Theft Auto 6 out now. I love everything by Rockstar. I really do. Every game they've put out, I've enjoyed. Grand Theft Auto specifically, you know, was my favorite video game series of all time. San Andreas. San Andreas is what really hooked. Actually, no, Vice City is what really hooked me. But I didn't own Vice City. My friend owned Vice City. And... Um, his parents, like when I was in school, his parents used to be the ones that would babysit me and I would go over to his house and it was his dad's PlayStation. His dad had a PlayStation, but we weren't allowed to use the PlayStation. He would get very angry if he found out we used the PlayStation. So, you know, after school we'd go there and if he wasn't there, we would get to play on the PlayStation, but I wasn't allowed to. I had to watch my friend play. I was not allowed to touch it at all. It was very, it was a very, I had a very weird childhood. And this was like a major part of it because these people were very strange. They would get angry over fucking anything. Okay. So if his dad came home and saw that his son was playing the PlayStation, you know, it'd be like an all out fucking war. So, but just to minimize whatever anger that would ensue if we were caught. His mother would just sit and watch and be like, okay, now uh, we'll just call him Gregory, okay, just to keep his name uh, private and safe. His mother would say, okay, Gregory can play the PlayStation, but you, me, are not allowed to play, okay? So you just got, so I just had to sit there and watch him play this fucking awesome game that I wanted to play so goddamn bad. And then I got my own Xbox, okay? Because fuck PlayStation. I was all about the Xbox because one of my other best friends, had an Xbox, and he actually let me play the fucking thing, all right? So because of that, I got an Xbox, and then eventually Grand Theft Auto San Andreas came out, and I was like, I got to get it. And it turns out that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was one of the best Grand Theft Autos ever fucking produced, all right? And it was because there was so much to do. It was so innovative. You could ride bicycles, 
and there were so many cheats. When I discovered cheats, man, oh, I was all over the place. I used to I used to go to fucking like Game Radar and Cheat CC. That was my main one. I'd go to cheatcc.com and we didn't have a printer, so I'd write all the cheats down on a piece of paper and then we did get a printer. So then I got to print all the cheats out. And then I mem I still have them memorized to this day. B right, B right, left X Y up was uh disabling cops. Down A right, left right R, right down up Y is infinite health. Left right up. And then I think that's all I can really remember. But I used to have uh, them all memorized. And you know when shit would go south in the game, I would just quickly whip out a cheat on the on the fucking controller and th I would save the day. But now GTA is not my most favorite uh, Rockstar series of games. I now am obsessed with Red Dead Redemption. Still to this day. I haven't actually played the first Red Dead Redemption, which I want to. I'm going to get it eventually and play it. But I've played Red Dead Redemption 2, I don't know how many times now. And currently I'm actually playing it right now, trying to beat it 100%. And I'm very fucking close to doing it. And once I do beat it 100%, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to buy Red Dead Redemption 1 and play that about a thousand times. Okay? And Red Dead Redemption 1 takes place after Red Dead Redemption 2. So that's going to be interesting because most people got to play Red Dead Redemption 1 first. And then they got to play Red Dead Redemption 2, which is the prequel. But I'm doing it the other way. So... But 2023, man, you're giving them too much of a fucking leeway. Well, not really. I mean, I know it, it takes a long time to fucking produce a game. And I'll wait. But I'm more excited for the next Red Dead Redemption. Which I hope they make one. Which they'd have to, right? The second one was such a goddamn... The first one was such a success. The second one was even more of a success. Might have even been more than any of the Grand Theft Autos. I don't know. I'm just spitting shit. But if they can make as much Grand Theft Autos as they have now and still be successful, they can continue to make Red Dead Redemption. And I so hope they do. I really do. I want the Red Dead Redemption series to last as long as the GTA series is going to last. But either way, Rockstar is still going to be my favorite for who knows how long. Check this out. Okay, this is for the kids out there. Man, I ain't no they kid. They don't want to hear me sing anymore. <laughs> no, they don't. It's, it's He's your no kid. turn. Yeah. So go ahead and duet this. You don't tell me what to do, girl. I'm a Here gangster. Here I go. <laughs> tell me what to do. I duet it if I want to. I love this. I love this. You hear me? You hear him? I'm a duet it, though. Okay. Let's so you had the G's do it from the streets. Okay, let's do it. Look. Okay. Uh. Uh. Look, I've waited a hundred years, and I wait a million more for you. Ow! Nothing prepared me for what the privilege of being yours would do. Oh, nice. I could listen to that all day. It, the audio is really fucking um, oversaturated, though. It's like they turned the gain up a thousand percent. I don't know what that's all about. And I don't really know who Chris Calico is. But I'll tell you what, he looks like Jay-Z and I like him. Let's check him out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see this guy. Is, I'm, I'm assuming he's a rapper. Okay. He is. All right. Good. Good assumption. Let's listen to just a smidget of his music so we don't get copyright claimed. I'm just going to skip right here. Oh, great. Fantastic. I like it a lot. That's all we can listen to, though. Copyright claims. They'll get you. Uh. How do you feel about the burping into the microphone? I'm not the only one who does it, okay? Courtney Miller does it on Smosh. There's even a girl on TikTok who does nothing but burping. 
those are two examples of girls who do it. I'm not a girl, so maybe it is just disgusting to see a fat bearded man burp into a mic. There's something about a girl burping that just is like acceptable. It's like, okay, all right. We'll let that slide, but a fat slob, too much. You know what? I don't care, okay? In some countries, it's acceptable to burp. It's actually, it's actually disrespectful not to burp after a delicious meal. You eat the meal and you burp, that is a sign of, oh, he enjoyed that meal. What are you going to do? Stop people from doing shit that's like just a natural part of being a human? Okay? I'm going to burp if I want. I like burping. It feels good. It sounds good. It makes me giggle. Farts are even funnier. But they're not that funny when they smell really bad. And they make you want to puke. Okay? You remember Trailer Trash Tammy? Do you remember when you first discovered Trailer Trash Tammy? No one knew who she was. Everyone thought that character was legit. Remember the girl? Remember the vine? Okay? The vine that started it all? She's like a huge fucking sensation now. But she walked up to the car window and she's like, Hey, you know what? Let's just watch it. If you haven't seen it, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to watch this and you're going to be like, uh, Oh, I remember this girl. Trailer Trash Tammy Original. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. Is this the one? This looks like a compilation or something. Let's see. Y'all want to see a trending video? Yes. Just show me it. Fuck you. So here's a vine from Chelsea. Where is it? Here it is. When was this uploaded? 2015. Hey, y'all got a cigarette? Um, we don't smoke. Fuck off. So Chelsea described... Yeah, shut up. Okay, no one cares what you have to say. So that was the original TikTok. Not TikTok, Vine. I always get the two fucking construed. Okay? Know the difference. All right? You saw that and you were like, that's legit. There's no way that's fake. Turns out she was just acting. The whole thing was a skit. It was so well done that she blew up. And now she's just a, a sensation. And props to her for doing that. Now, I want to just watch this video. Oh my God. Are they okay? You got a cigarette and a goddamn lighter! Okay? This is the equivalent to that. But this is a more modern version. Alright, but what we're seeing here is a building on fire, which there's no way that would be staged. So this... See this? This is like next level shit right here. Because in the trailer trash Tammy, you could go, okay, yeah, maybe that's staged, but it looks so convincing that you're like, uh, 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 it's pro it might be real. It probably is real. But this, with the element of the fucking burning building, it's hard to know if this is fake or real. So I'm thinking this is fucking legit. This is like an actual trailer trash Tammy moment happening in real life. And I love it. I love TikTok. It's a little bit of everything, including shit like this. And if you notice, watch it again. Look at the number on the building. It's 420. I mean, that all just fucking makes it all come together nicely. Oh, my God. Are they okay? You got a yeah. cigarette and a goddamn lighter. And you know what I just noticed? They're like, are they okay? They're pulling up to this girl as if maybe she needs help. <laughs> <laughs> And if you listen to the guy in the car, he's about to ask her a question. As if to say, like, are you guys okay or something? Let's listen to it again. Oh, my God. Are they okay? You got a cigarette and a goddamn lighter? <laughs> so this girl is just like, but she must be, like, so stressed out because... I don't know, maybe she owns that building or she works at that building or that's her house, maybe? <laughs> she's like do you got a do you got a cigarette and a goddamn lighter like so angry i wish this it would keep going you know and because it doesn't keep going that makes you think well maybe they paused the video because they're scared of this girl or maybe they paused the video because they wanted it to end there because the whole thing is staged 
It's hard to say. Maybe they pulled up to this burning building. They're like, they got this girl with her who they know is funny. And they're like, okay, you get out and we're going to do a trailer trash Tammy moment. There's so much to unpack. <clears throat> These are the kinds of things I like to decipher whether or not they're real or fake. Because there's certain videos you watch and you're like, oh, that's that's fake. That's obviously fake. But this, I have no fucking idea. Oh my god. Are they okay? You got a yeah. cigarette and a goddamn lighter! I mean, come on. <laughs> I just want to hear her say that one more time. You got a yeah. cigarette and a goddamn lighter! Ah, I just don't, I don't think this one's fake. If it is fake then fucking props to these people because that is well done very well fucking done hell yeah okay let's just end we're gonna end this is the final tiktok of the day this is another one you know i don't think this one's fake either because it's way too legit looking um, but it's too fast it's too fast. They started filming right as the moment was happening. Let's just watch. I mean, just boxes and boxes of IPA. They're all empty. Like, did this guy drink all those? Is that why he's in this state? Like, the guy looks dead. Look how he lands on the ground. Looks like both his fucking legs are broken. And they're just laughing at him. And he's got Fruit of the Looms on. Okay. I love it. I love it, and I love you, and I wish you would stop stalking me, please. Just leave me alone, okay? Um, what, I don't even have a recommendation for today, because I didn't prepare a whole lot, but let me see. Let me see what I can recommend. There's always something I can recommend. I can whip something up real quick here. Because there's nothing I love more than watching podcasts, uh, or anything, really. More than just podcasts. But if there's something I'm going to recommend, let me go through my history. What have I been watching recently? Uh, I'm just going to find something real quick here. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Mm, eh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's all the same shit that I've recommended before. I've recommended Tim Dillon, right? You know what? I'm going to recommend fucking Lex Friedman, okay? This guy's a... He's an AI, uh, I don't know what his title is. <laughs> He's involved in the AI world, okay? He's a Russian AI scientist. That's what his thing is, I guess. AI researcher working on autonomous vehicles, human-robot interaction, machine learning at MIT. The guy's brilliant. He's super young. He's Russian. He's got, he's, you know, he's kind of mixed into the comedy world through Joe Rogan. He's had fucking Tim Dillon on his podcast. He's also had Eric Weinstein, you know, he's all over the place and I love him. He's funny, but he's smart. He always brings up fascinating conversation topics and questions. He's, he's, it's very worth your time to watch this guy. Uh, so that, you know, it's not for everyone, but if you're looking for someone new and interesting to watch, check out fucking Lex Friedman, ladies and gentlemen. And with that being said, that is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I know you didn't watch it because no one does. But remember, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification because that's a thing now. I'm still used to the old days where the bell didn't even exist. And I know it's been around for years now, but I'm still adjusting to it. I don't use it. I don't, okay? I use it for specific channels that I know that I want to watch. But there's only few that I... Cause, because otherwise, I'm just scrolling through my subscriptions anyway every day to see 
what was newly uploaded. I don't care. I'm, like, you know, I'm not the kind of person who watches a video immediately as it's uploaded. Because I'm usually busy doing this other shit. So, but you should hit the bell notification. <laughs> Shouldn't have said any of that. Whatever. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want. I recommend it. Um, but uh, that's it for this episode, okay? Goodbye, everyone. Bye!